Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we follow Wolverine Transparency as he... I guess he audits a police station. It's not really clear. But what is clear is he's one of those asshats that invaded the 9th Precinct in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, link will be in the description. And you'll really want to sit to end on this one. So why don't we all sit back, relax, and enjoy the freaking show. First Amendment will be upheld no matter what. Hey, Doc. Name it bad stuff. You know, the whole works. And then he persists on saying, Oh, you're one of them. Racist ass statement that is to me, because I know what they're doing to you. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and run that concurrent with that. You know. Oh, you're a troublemaker, huh? Oh, because I got a fucking camera of mass destruction. Fucking 35 frames a second. Ain't that a bitch? Hey, they're already triggered, dude. Triggered? All I see are three women talking. You're the one who seems to be triggered, dude. These are court staff right here. I got them all triggered, bro. They were all trying to conspire in here. I... Shit. You... Anyway. All right, there, I'm covering America. I see you're in there now. Oh, you got a PPO? Well, if that officer, if he's not here, then you should be okay, right? Anyways. Oh my God, the whole damn police department. Are you shitting me? Oh, wait a minute. It's time to go to the Popo station. Let me, let me walk over there. Isn't that right behind it? Right, I'm already being watched. See him? See him over there? He's got an eye on me. See him? Beyond that tree right there? Right in the middle of the screen. He just pulled up. They're waiting for me to pull out. Yeah. I got all day, homie. If I have to, I'll get my wife to come pick me up. I'll stay out here to fork. This, this battery I got will last six days. I'll just sit in one place. Now what? Yeah, <laughs> barely making it across the side by I need my damn chair. But I see, I see, just pissed me off. He said he got to stay away one fourth for disturbing the peace and recording the police. He has to stay. He got a PPO and he's got to stay away. Look at him. They think that we're not hip to. He's waiting for me to pull out. Look at that. I just seen him pull up. Literally. Waiting for fucker to pull out. Here. Let's get that car. Yeah. Uh-huh. Police headquarters. Hmm. <laughs> I'm making my way up here. Slow as I am. Slow roll.
What's up? Yes, sir. I just saw you filming from the car. Yeah. Just filming. Just grabbing B-roll footage. No. I'm a journalist collecting content for a story. He was coming out here for me? Wow. Special, special me, a guy with one hand only holding a camera? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, guys. He's a sergeant. All that for me? I want to get you two things. I felt like it. How you doing, sir? Don't walk up on me. No, what the fuck's wrong with you? Don't worry about what I'm doing. You want to arrest me, don't you? You have permission to film me? Oh, really? Are you that moronic? Listen, to this guy. <laughs> hey, are you his commanding? Are you his commanding officer? What would you like, sir? Are you with commanding officer, yes or no? Because you're you got you got you got some stripes there. Okay. What would you like, sir? Check him. He, he's in error. Okay, I told you I was collecting B-roll footage. That's all. I'm a journalist. Uh, content for a story. <laughs> you serious? What type of story, sir? The story that you're giving me right now. The tyranny that I'm seeing. Oh boy, you call them tyrants? Clearly you're not an educated man. You should really do your research on who true tyrants are. You are in error. You're in how, error. How am I in error? Because you're telling me that I don't have the right to record you in public. That's my uniform, them are my cuffs, that's my gun, and that is my camera. Do you understand that? You don't pay taxes, and you haven't even earned the right to call them yours. You haven't gone through the training they have, and they're sure as hell not going to hand over their restricted equipment over to you just because you say it's yours. You understand that? Sir, you're more than welcome to take your portion of this parking lot here, as you can see the sign. Put some sign up. Where's the sign of Jeff? says right where you enter. What's it say? Huh? What's it say? Okay, so check it out. If you come from, you might want to put one over there for the public. Listen, for the public, put one over there, and that'll be honored. When guys like me come in, that's the first thing we look for: signage. Not necessarily. I've seen videos where there's signs everywhere, and they still come in to cause trouble because they'll whine and complain that signs are a violation of the Constitution, the First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, or whatever happens to be their poison for that day. Okay. okay. When, when it says... Welcome, if you want to take around the, the whole complex, obviously go to the station. They don't allow videos inside the courthouse. That's their rules, not ours. No, I get it. You're, you're more than welcome to take wherever you want, sir. And, and see, don't think that I'm just raising my voice. I've had a trichometry. Take a look, good look at the middle of my... Well, I just thought you were right. talking over this, whatever this construction is. I didn't take a look. Well, I'm just letting you know, I, I raise my voice because I have to. Okay. All right? But just to educate you, officer, you are... We are a lot... Turner versus Driver says that we can record... You have failed to even understand Turner versus Driver, dude. There are caveats to it. It is not an absolute rule. It has time, place, and manner restrictions, you moron. No, no that's disrespectful. That's showing disdain for the public. But if you had work to do, then why the hell did you come out here and talk to me when I was doing nothing? I didn't do anything. So that's why I'm here to begin with. You guys need an education, man. You guys need to freaking, you need, you need training. children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. That's training. You need training, man. Well, okay, just make sure you sign it. And when somebody's talking to you, listen to them. Don't listen. Do you understand what kind of service 
that you're supposed to be providing me right now? You swore an oath to protect my rights, sir. I did. All right? So do it. Do it right now. Calm down. That guy is triggered, and everybody could see it. Okay. I understand. Sir, like I said, you're more than welcome to take anywhere on the premises you want. You can go inside if you like. Then you call Bulgaria. Gotcha. The court, I don't know what their rules are. City Hall, we understand what the rules are, okay? Okay. Park instruction with the public, you're more than welcome to do that. Let me, guys give you, let me give you guys some friendly advice. Stop abusing 242. Section Title 18, USC 242, deprivation of rights under the color of law. You guys are going to get charged with that. I'm going to tell you that right now, and you're going to lose your qualified immunity. And you think you think I'm just talking shit? It's coming. It's coming. And then then, and I'm not anti-cop, so I'm trying to bridge the gap between you and the community. And you're the only one that's so far that's actually halfway decent out here to stand here and continue to talk to a citizen that pays your freaking salary, okay? And I just think that it's it's really it's, it's really disrespectful when you correct their error. You want to correct my error for that. Remember, if I'm not breaking the law, teach these people this, Lieutenant. If I'm not breaking the law, I'm your boss until I break the law because you're here to serve me. Everybody's got it backwards. You guys are public servants. Your main priority is to show an example by serving. And then once somebody breaks the law, then you guys have the authority to take care of your business because that's the authority that we gave you. Okay? So when you sign them the ethics agreements to uphold the laws of all laws, remember photography is not a crime. And when somebody comes out and your officer talks like that, check them. Say, hey, with all due respect, he, he can record you. He can record you. And, you know, make, I mean, because that would have been the proper reason. And then I would have just said, okay, cool. See you. Have a nice day, guys. I, I agree with you, Charlie. Never go to any management school. You don't want to buy a phone call, right? You do it in private. Well, we'll talk to him. That's, private. that is what... But the public is watching. A lot of people are watching, okay? And and we're live. So, and there are, they already violated a, a, a fellow journalist. And he has the whole video recording. One five years ago? No, one a couple years ago. Not ten months ago. So. The only one I know the one on the sidebar. Yeah. It might be. So why is it going on? I appreciate your time. I got to right, get back man. to work. I appreciate you uh, reaching out and doing what you just did. That sh that shows a that shows a lot of integrity. What you just did. Thank you. You too. I think they got educated. They ain't gonna be anything.